Hey guys, welcome to the first anniversary edition of the tier list. Again, this is also a beginner edition. Um, we'll be talking, we'll be talking to each more or less of the tiers specifically on how the tiers are being grouped and how these operatives will have an impact on their teams or some operatives that they may need even though they are low rarity that they can use still in the end game so without further ado let's start with our tier three so tier three definitely at this point i would say that if you like them if you like these waifus you can actually use them but if you want to move forward with these waifus um, uh, to mid game, probably I don't recommend that you level them up because they will be overpowered really by the other operatives in the upper tiers. So definitely be wary when you they're they're they're, they're usable, if, especially if you're a beginner. Uh, don't get me wrong, but again, I would uh, I would highly encourage you to invest on the other operatives because again you will be spending resources for them and if you don't use them in mid game or in end game then definitely you'll be hard up on resources with the other operatives that you have so again the they're, they're there for a reason at tier three they're, they're they're not usually played by most of the community so let's move to tier two we have here life um four star all of these are four star. All of them are here for a reason. Marian is here because um, she could really do a big, a, a, a chaos damage buff for Cherno five star. The rest, um, again, if you're a beginner, they are very good placeholders in your teams, especially for content that you need two teams. Um, they can fill your roster, but again, I think they can be used just up to the mid game i won't i wouldn't take them that far um i think my, my favorites here would be frisha and fenny so if you if i am that basically guys what i'm saying is my opinion this is the tier list and this is basically my opinion on all of these operatives so for tier two if you're going to be picking on who you're going to be investing in early game definitely frisha and fenny uh for the rest um it is really up to you if you love these operatives and definitely go for it I'm not saying you don't but for my recommendation fanny and freesia is my highly recommended to you know at least fill your roster to you know to in case you you're gonna be going to mid game and into the end game but again tiers one will you know be more you know have more umph than tier two so basically we have life wild hunt at tier one a uh, very decent damage dealer um very very nice kit to play with synergy between her ballistic damage and her standard skill it's actually nice i used her for a while until again power creep crept in and now i don't use her as much i use her because her kit is fun and life is actually one of you know my favorite operatives so that's it but again she is still playable again uh even for end game you can still clear end game content with her don't get you know i have her at m5 and she can still you know destroy those bosses with ease but again the rest would have more power than her so that is you know expected with power creep but again don't get me wrong tier one operatives are um you know are very very decent uh they can hold their own marion swift as well very very fun kit especially with the standard skill freesha hush requires a bit of investment and she thrives off her ultimate skill so these three these are the first orange tier that are in tier one the rest are um four stars akasha kaguya one of the best since we started this game i kid you not invest in her um she would be one of your best mob clearers for especially for four star um very 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 fun to you so 
again, Chen Sheng and Yao, both healers. Chen Sheng just has um, an additional buff to um, your main operative. So both of them are healers. Yao was once our best healer in this game at 4-star. Definitely still playable, especially for support. Supports, I think, do not age um, age well. Um, they do. They're they're not really. Um, they're not going to be power crap as much because they, especially for healers, they give healing, they give support. They can be used in the end game. So again, you can invest in them up to the end game. So that is our tier one. Again, tier zero point five is up. And 0 0.5, this is how it looks. So, for 0 0.5, these are your nearly there operatives. They are here because your tier 0 are the best at what they do. They are best at support, damage, um, but our best healer is here. So, each shell... I'm going to give each shell more premium because with the influx of um, new players, um, her kit is a no-brainer. Her passive healing is a no-brainer. You don't have to do anything with her. Just have to put her in support and you can't, you know, you don't even need to use her. She just does healing occasionally. You can actually have a a burst of healing once you use her support but use her mainly for her passive which is actually healing you um continuously so again for beginners um who are not you know who are not really confident on basically dodging again each shell will be your best friend all healers will be so chen sheng four star and yao four star would definitely be your best friend but each shell takes the cake so to speak because she eats a lot but again she's a top healer for the game test the magician um has a very unique um support skill which she um increase uh, decreases the cooldown of your ultimates so again if you want to build your character and if you have a character that thrives on ultimates Therefore, Tess is going to be your girl. So, she's at tier 05. Enya, very, very nice buff for standard skills. Additional electrical damage for her. Um, she was a free character a few months ago. Um, I'm sure she'll have a rerun. Um, she is one of the best buffers in this game. So, both Tess, Enya, um, damage um damage buffers support together with each shell for the first three in this list haru was for a time one of the best dps that we had um she was in tier zero until again a lot of operatives you know were were eventually you know eventually succeeded her in that area she's actually best in mob killing not so much for bosses though especially for for armored ones um ricochet is her problem and um again for mobs she will sweep mobs she's one of the best in sweeping out mobs and dishing out damage so again um and she does and her you know her standard skill um moves through obstacles that is what why i like her because you can literally take out enemies behind barriers so again very nice operative to have fanny coronet and chen Sheng, one of the top before tier zero in fact fanny if not for her handicap for her bullet size for her gun um she would still be at the top um, she doesn't have a way of replenishing bullets unless they buff her really into something different. But again, that's her crutch. Her damage output is is crazy, crazy good. Sometimes you just have to, you know, uh, if you want to use her, um, still crazy output. You just have to contend with her reload and with the number of bullets she has. But again, if damage output is, you know, we're talking about damage output, she's one of the best. Again, the reload is going to drive you crazy. That's just it. Um, same with, you know, Chen Xing. I think uh, she also has 
her limitation is really the reload and the amount of bullets she has but her mechanic on clearing mobs and clearing enemies with multi parts is actually one of the best um the only i think my only my only gripe with her again is reloading when she runs out of ammo she cannot really maintain her burst much she has to re reload and again there's a kind of kind of a blank portion where she doesn't deal much damage but again for multi-part bosses and for mobs she is one of the best damage dealers um she was out actually during i think the first update and i think she just dropped just now so again this rounds out our tier 05 all of these are awesome awesome uh, operatives um you just have to make sure that you fail your teams and build them right so let's move on to the top of the charts and in no in no particular order guys i'm not i'm not saying that uh, cherno is you know cherno is the best in terms of nuking in terms of um again i don't think she has the 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 damage output that she has is crazy cherno enigma um and she ignores you know multi-part uh bosses she goes straight to the body and damages it again i don't see any flaw in her game as of the moment Again, um, she's not here because she's... Uh, I, I know she's top DPS. But again, she has other abilities that that are the best. So I don't think she has flaws at the moment except for being rushed. Being rushed by enemies. But I think she can deal with that. So she is tier 0 for now. So Life Infinite Sight. She is our brand new operative. I'm not sure if... She will overshoot Cherno as top DPS with uh, Fenny, the other five-star incoming, the long-haired version. But Life herself has really crazy burst damage, even crazier than Katya Blue Bolt. So burst damage for her. Um, I think the only challenge for her is, is the skill rotation and your ability to play her. So it takes a lot of a, a little bit of skill in terms of mastering how you play her. So I think that is kind of what holds her back. Um, I think she has potential of giving more damage depending on who she uses as support. I'm actually experimenting right now on a different build, concentrating on critical damage, whether that's a better build than what I have right now with attack alignment index and skill cooldown but that it remains to be seen in the future for now she is at tier zero and one of our top dps for the game okay so katya blue bolt one of our top um dps again she has sustained uh ballistic damage with her crossbow it it only varies in speed if you lose that um standard skill you'll be basically shooting with her regular speed so she has unlimited bullets guys she doesn't have she doesn't have a magazine she only has two shooting modes one is a pure shot straight shot and one is a scatter shot or an aoe shot again she she is very fun to use a uh, skill wise in terms of using her kit um, very fun, very easy to use. I do recommend if you have opportunity to get her. She's going to be, I think, one of the most fun, you know, um, operatives to use. Um, and damage-wise, damage output-wise, she can, you know, be toe-to-toe -to -toe with life as well. She is burst damage, again, for me because of the consistency that she can shoot. And, again... I love her design. So even for her basic design. Next up is Ceres Kisana. So Ceres is from a shield bearer to one of... If Cherno Enigma is a nuke, Ceres I may call is a dynamite. So her, you know, her, her nuke damage 
Her nuke da damage is a little bit smaller than Cherno. Um, again, easy to play kit. Not really, not really uh, hard to learn um, in terms of skill rotation. Again, she packs a punch. Uh, can deal really with mobs. Push them out. Deal big damage. Can deal with bosses as well. So... Again, um, just a little bit of investment, I think, on her manifestations. But again, she is even, you know, she's she's actually better even if you're using her four-star weapon, which I am right now. So, uh, not better. She's actually good. She, of course, the five-star version of your gun is actually better. But again, four-star is good enough. And I think for the skills that she has, for the damage that she can do she is actually worthy of tier zero so um i'm not sure you what you think guys if i'm you know let me know in the comment section if i'm right in assessing series for tier zero so hopefully we could discuss and for the last of the dps it is going to be yao winter solstice so yao top dps day one I believe that she is still tier zero. She can still dish out that huge damage, um, especially with with, with Shadow Ka in, in in that team. So, my only gripe for her is that um, the skill you need to use in order to pull off that damage, especially for a sniper, is actually kind of up there. Um, if you don't have, like me, for example, I don't. I don't bother with a sniper because again aiming takes a lot and for a sniper for a sniper to miss at least one shot is going to be you know it's not going to be good so again the skill skill level for her kit is actually high that is actually going to be your hurdle when you're going to be using her unless you're already or already used to snipe using sniper rifles in a third person shooter then you'd be good but again she is still there hanging on to tier zero. I'm not sure if she's going to be falling off soon. Probably if they put out another sniper, which more or less has the same damage output, but has a better kit, probably could dethrone her from tier zero. But for now, she is actually still there hanging on. And the last two for our tier zero would be Akasha Kaguya and Mauxir Shadow Cup. Akasha Kaguya uh if you're if you're needing anybody to basically use as a support akasha kaguya can slot into any team uh decreasing elemental resistance or, you know, i think it's elemental resistance uh, i forgot how much percentage but again she fits perfectly with any team uh whether you're a beginner whether you've been here day one again she's perfect for your team guys um again i can't say more on how what value she does uh and how she gives your team the utility that you need and the last of course is going to be mauxir shadow ka she is actually one or most of your dps here will be using her to increase their damage she is very 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 good especially with her with her own gun so gives you know it gives a lot of damage buffs her sorry her support skill really you know gives a lot of a, a lot of damage buffs especially i think for shotgun and for sniper uh, but in general she elevates dps um dps operatives to another level that is why she is in tier zero so that is it guys i think i've taken much of your time but i will be putting a link to this sheet in the description of this, of this video so you may check it out there again guys uh, if you have any comments and suggestions on what the tier then the next tier list should look like Please put them down in the comment section below. Again, these are my opinions. Um, everybody will have their own opinion. Again, um, and this tier list discussion was basically um, 
for the benefit of beginners who started during the anniversary. So, again, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.